Welcome to Muff, Minutes Until Fit. This is your host, Imani. Our mission here on this channel is to bring awareness, give motivation, offer words of encouragement, and inspire our viewers in the best possible way. We aim to enhance your awareness, and we discuss many ailments and diseases that many of you or your family is suffering from. The information contained in this video is of general nature and does not constitute medical advice. Talk to your doctor for your individual circumstances. This week we will be covering what makes the eyeball see. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel at the end of the video. What makes the eyeball see? Basically it's all about light. But let's review the thing a little bit further. The eyeball, a structure containing sense receptors for vision, pretty much set up like a camera. The eyeball houses the retina, which is on an active layer of nerve tissue made up of millions of light receptors called photoreceptors, which are needed to help focus light. The sclera is the tough protective outer shell of the eyeball. It's made up of dense fibrous tissue that covers most of the eyeball and it provides attachments for the muscles that move the eye. The sclera is covered by the conjunctiva, a transparent membrane that prevents the eye from drying out. At the front of the eye, the tear film covers the transparent cornea, the window is what it's called, through which light passes into the eye. Working together with the aqueous humor behind it, the cornea provides the greatest focus and power of the eye. The cornea can't change shapes or focus and power like the lens can. A lot of the eyeball is filled with a transparent gel substance called the virtuous humor, which helps maintain the shape. Right behind the sclera is an underlying vascular layer called the uvea that supplies nutrients to many parts of the eye. The uvea is the ciliary body, a muscular structure located behind the iris that alters the shape of the lens during focusing, and it provides aqueous humor that bathes the anterior chamber. The other parts of the uvea are there are the iris and choroid. The choroid is a highly vascular tissue layer that provides blood to the outer layers of the retina that lie over it. The cornea, where the focusing process begins, is curved to a much greater extent than the rest of the eyeball. Defects in the corneal curvature cause a distortion of vision known as astigmatism. Behind the cornea is the anterior chamber which extends at the back of the eye, back of the um, eye in the iris and the pupil. It is filled with a watery fluid called the aqueous humor. The iris is a donut shaped muscular curtain that opens and closes to regulate the amount of light entering the eye through the pupil, opening at the iris's centra. The aqueous humor flows through the pupil from the posterior chamber to the anterior chamber and out of the eye through the trambicular meshwork and Shellum's camp canal, which encircles the peripheral iris. Some aqueous humor also exists the eye directly. Some aqueous humor also exits the eye directly through the ciliary body. The ciliary muscle attachments and lens separate the aqueous humor in front. Topic: Myopia. What causes nearsightedness? Excess staring at junk food. No. When light from an object enters our eyes, our eye lens bends it such that the image is formed on the retina. However, in some people, this image is formed before the retina. Such defect is called nearsightedness or myopia. A person with myopia cannot see distant objects clearly. But why? Wait, I'll explain. To focus image of a distant object on the retina, our eye lens becomes thin. However, in people with myopia, the lens cannot become adequately thin, mm. thus forming image before the retina and making it difficult to mm. see. Moreover, when the eyeball is elongated more than normal, the distance between the lens and the retina increases resulting in the formation of image before the retina, thus causing difficulty in seeing the distant object. Uh, cone receptors cone photoreceptors that provide the sharpest vision. The retina has many parts, blood vessels that bring nutrients to the nerve cells. The macula is the bull, bull's eye at the center of the retina. The dead center is the fovea. 
This is the focal point of the eye and it has special light sensitive nerve endings called photoreceptors. Photoreceptors come in two kinds, rods and cones. They have special nerve endings that turn the light into electrochemical signals. Retinal pigment epithelial is a layer of dark tissue beneath the photoreceptors. These cells absorb excess light so the photoreceptors can give a clearer signal. They move nutrients to and waste from the photoreceptor to the choroid. The choroid is separate from the retinal pigment epithelium. It lies behind the retina and is made up of many fine blood vessels that supply nutrition to the retina and the retinal pigment epithelium. When stimulated by light, retinal photoreceptor cells send signals to neighboring cells in the retina that they relay signals through the optic nerve to the visual in the back of the brain. Light reflected from an object enters the eye, gets focused, is converted into electrochemical signals delivered to the brain and is interpreted as an image. This has been your host, Imani. Thank you for tuning in once again. Please be, feel free to leave a comment or a suggestion. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Stay safe.